is 3 News. He's proven himself a man of few words, even today as he was officially welcomed home onto his te kaha marae, Corporal Willie Apiata VC maintained an air of humility. But his East Coast family and friends were happy to make sure the rest of New Zealand knows just where Apiata calls home. Mike McRoberts is in te kaha and joins us now live. Mike. Kia ora, Carolyn. Yes, it's been called the biggest day in Takaha's history. And look, with the number of dignitaries here, who could argue? The Prime Minister Helen Clark was here, Bill English, uh, Phil Goff, a number of politicians choppered into this tiny East Coast settlement this morning to share in their proud moment. It felt like an historic event. Corporal Willie Apiata, VC, officially welcomed home. Among his party, the Prime Minister Helen Clark who gave four Gisborne teenagers the thrill of walking onto Te Kaha Marae with their hero. He's from here and so am I. And he's Māori descendant and so am I. So he's quite a inspiration for most Māori that live around in the East Coast. And out the back, it looked like they were getting ready to feed most of the East Coast. Everyone here who knows Willie well says he's down to worth and humble. But there's little doubt being awarded the Victoria Cross has changed his life forever. One of his mates who knows fame himself says Willie will cope okay. Man, I don't know. You know, I've had a little bit of fame, but he's like, uh, we'll put it this way. If it was vehicles, I'll be a V-dub and he's a Formula One racing car, you know. So, <laughs> so yeah, he's got, a, he's got a big responsibility, I guess, firstly to himself and then, you know, to the rest of New Zealand. There are 33 names on this memorial of men from the area who fought and died for their country in foreign lands. Many of them remain in what's known as whenua iwi care, in someone else's dirt. It's been an incredibly special day and I think we sit there conscious of all those photos of the young men who didn't come back from 28th Māori Battalion and the joy of the people here in having one of their own come back with that VC and just carried so proudly. And we all felt Whanua Apanui's pride today, as their favourite son was presented with the Greenstone Medi, a deserving hero, if somewhat reluctant. It's a huge responsibility, but uh, I've got a lot of people that are here to support me and help me through this journey, and uh, I take it one day at a time. Is it tough to live up to? Just taking it one day at a time. <laughs> And look, you get the feeling that Willie Apiata was waiting for this official pomp and ceremony to be over and he'd rather be up pig hunting uh, with his mate Matua Parkinson, but he's coping with it very well. There was a lovely moment earlier where uh, he, he made the fatal mistake of signing a, a, a child's autograph and then this line formed and it went almost around the circumference of the mud eye. So he's, he's doing pretty well. Mike, I have to ask you, is Corporal Apiata always this shy? <laughs> Yes, I've been speaking to a few of his uh, old army mates from Bravo Company. They said he's got a great sense of humour, but I think he is what you see. He's a, he's a, a quiet and, and humble person. And look, it must have been completely overwhelming for him today because you remember those shots of the men out the back uh, cutting up the hungi that I had in the story. Well, that would have been Willie Apiata two or three months ago. Instead, today he was sitting on the pai pai, sitting next to the Prime Minister. And I know that Willie Apiata, QC, uh, the VC rather, talks about uh, taking things one day at a time, but this was a very big day for him. Absolutely. Mike McRoberts, thank you.